A new overnight police in Utah released body camera video that shows a critical point in the timeline in the case of a missing Northport woman. It comes as we expect another update from Northport police and the FBI today. ABC Action News reporter Stasi Olmos following the new development. She has watched that body cam video. She now joins us live from Northport this morning. Good morning, Stasi. Good morning. This really has become a national effort to find the missing 22 year old Gabby Petito. She and her boyfriend Brian Laundry had taken off from here in Northport on a road trip heading west, traveling through national parks. Now we're going to get to that video of the uh, body cam footage in just a minute. But first, let's catch you up on the details that we know so far. So Petito documented much of the trip on her social media, and that's what we're showing you now at her family's request. We know the couple traveled through Utah and up to Wyoming, where authorities say Petito was last seen. Now, really, you're seeing a young woman having a great adventure, but newly released body cam footage shows a different version of the trip. Overnight, ABC News obtained this body cam video from the Moab City Police Department, showing their response to that August 12th call. We're airing the video because it shows a crucial point in the timeline of this case. So officers pulled the couple over near Arches National Park after a call from a witness who saw the couple fighting. In the video, officers questioned Petito and Laundry about the fight, and they both admitted to arguing and that Petito had slapped Laundry. Petito also tells officers she suffers from anxiety. After more than an hour of questioning, officers labeled it a mental emotional break rather than a domestic assault, and no charges were filed. However, However, police here in North Park have named Laundry a person of interest, telling us that he is refusing to talk to them. You don't know what Brian knows. I mean, that's the bottom line. And uh, we're, we're hopeful to talk to him. He needs to talk to us. Uh, we need to know exactly uh, where he was, where she was, their last locations. And that, the fact that he was back here for 10 days, Anyone with information is asked to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. Now, coming up today at noon, police are going to hold another press briefing here in Northport at the department. We're going to air that online on our website, abcactionnews.com, and on our ABC Action News Facebook page. Reporting live here in Northport, I'm Stassi Almost, ABC Action News.